Hallo, hallo. How's it going? Hot coffee. All right. Hey, listen. Gonna plug in my phone. So I had a think, like strategy think about um, what to do in terms of um, direction for 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 these uh, paintings for the golden ticket. Um, and I think, hey, Gria, Zelin, and and Urian, how's it going? I think I think I'm uh, slightly approaching it wrong. If I think statistically I got to lighten it up a bit. Hey Coldberger Art, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yo. <laughs> yeah, so well, what I'm saying is that I think I'm going too too dark thematically. You know, like nar uh, knife and 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 uh, a a couple alien couple being abducted by crusaders. Uh, I think, like thematically, it might be a bit dark for most people to enjoy. I think what I gotta do is 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 make a. I mean, it's a for a competition, right? So you gotta put strategy into it. And uh, I and I think if you're gonna try to convince people that I should win in the sense of judges and, and, and community and so on, um, I think if you look at percentage, a lighter theme would most likely be more accepted than a darker theme. The cool factor. I mean, that, that there is a reason why Transformers looks the way look the way they do, or or any like scary movies that don't try to scare the pants of you. The look of the dark, like the things in there, is isn't so gritty and dark and vulgar. It's a lot more subtle, due to the fact that more people should be able to accept it. Right. So in a way, like if I think if I want to, if I want to in the end continue with this one, I need to remove the knife. Uh, that will lighten the theme a little bit more. But I think I think might be going a bit too dark. So today. Hey Quentin, how's it going, man? Uh, so today I'll I'll switch it up completely. Um, I mean, it's cool in Jenna Jones vibe. It's it's nice, you know. It's nothing wrong with that. But hey, Tormod, good morning. Today I'll I think I'll do something cuter um, because. Uh, a lot of people also enjoy my more cartoony style. Um, so I'm thinking... I'm thinking what could be cool... Let's start the timer. I think what could be cool is like a creatures... Um, like a hero shot of creatures. So, I had this idea of doing like a bad of misfits, but uh, as like small tiny trolls, uh, and they're like journeymen. Or I'm thinking that I haven't thought about it. I was thinking like I need to switch it up, maybe uh, make it lighter while I was making the coffee. So that's what I'm, 
I was thinking, I'm going to sketch it out quickly. Um, so one guy, like, sitting on a bird, and then maybe someone more in the foreground, kind of like a hero type character, or like the maybe an agile type character, and then uh, some someone in the background looking over. And it's like a band, a rag, what's it, a ragtag, a band of misfits. <laughs> I don't know, but like a hero shot, right? They're they're on the edge of something. Um, I think that could be a cool, uh, a cool one. Let's, no, not that one. Switch that off. There we go. Happy Friday, happy Friday GIF. <laughs> Cheers for the outer host, Coldberger. Much appreciated. Captain Balls, how's it going? F -f 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 Friday. Because, I mean, uh, we could go the dark Indiana Jones vibe. I don't think it's necessarily wrong. But I think if we, like, making it a bit lighter, because I looked at the competition, and the government of Malta is involved. And obviously, there's lots of conspiracy theory about uh, the past of Malta and like aliens and shit. Uh, so maybe like the government of Malta will be like, "That's a great painting," but no. Um, hence my reluctancy now to uh, pursue that that little bit more vulgar or aggressive tone. Um, so I think at least I'll give this one uh, um, uh, a thought about what could we do to make it interesting. Um, so I was thinking how to do that in a, a good efficient way and possibly one way to do that is paint with light, um, experiment a little bit, uh, you know, see what see what comes out. The problem is, I probably shouldn't paint with light uh, only, because it's going to be very um, limiting in in my ability to to define such a big scene. Um, but I'll I'll try to do a, like a in between. But I think I think this idea could be cool, you know, like uh, having items of um, like they're explorers, right? They're like uh, maybe type parkour type vibe in in the sense of how they are uh, <laughs> like the kids, <laughs> you know. <laughs> The kids. Uh, hey, Miller Finn Rags, how's it going, man? Happy, happy, happy Friday. So, you know, like the sense. Have any one of you seen the child, a kids' movie Rio, with those two birds, um, uh, like exploring the world, uh, the city of uh, Rio de Janeiro? Hey, Bruno Romanos. And um, and how and how like the birds are at their own scale in a bigger world, but we are not like we accept that world as their world, even though we are seeing it from a bird's point of view, right? Hey, a lot. Good morning. Yeah, it's a fun movie. It's a fun movie indeed. Uh, but I was, th you know, I was just thinking, in in that sense, I mean, if if I'm gonna switch um, approach and uh, and switch uh, theme, um, you know, there was a bird in 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 Rio. I think Rio one, uh, which had a bottle cap hat. Hey, Tristan, how's it going? So that in itself is like a cool idea. 
Um, question is, should they be all trolls? Should they be all uh, recognizable animals? Because one of them is riding on a bird, right? So the bird needs to be accurate. But nothing says that the trolls or, or if they're animals need to be accurate, right? So I'm thinking maybe I can just design some, some cute things. Um, And, uh, and enjoy that. I mean, it could be a ragtag of goblets, trolls. Nah. I mean, they need to all, they can't all be the same, right? Because the, the whole idea of um, TSU is people from all over the world, right? So I got to make sure that there's a, a bunch of weird looking thin things. Um, so if they're on an edge like that, maybe we could have uh, someone standing there, maybe someone sitting, hey art station. Someone like something like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, as as a composition, it kind of works, but not really yet. We I gotta make sure that there's a more interesting rhythm, but then that's the like the basics, right? I still don't have I still have no idea about design, who's what, right? But we can start thinking about uh, archetypes, hero. The rogue, the the um, ogre, like the powerhouse guy, the friendly guy, the agile, the intellect, the leader. Um, and because it's going to affect the poses and how we see the image. Hey, Captain Jetlag, how's it going? Oh, Georg, you're back. Fantastic. I wonder... Could they could all be... Could all be standing like on the edge of... Ruin or something. I kind of like the the old thumbnail background element there. I think it adds a nice uh, touch to it. Maybe there's another writer here. You gotta see. We should probably try to warp it like that, maybe. I kind of overall like it. And like I mentioned yesterday, as I was uh, sketching this one, uh, I obviously I'm not the best environment artist. I can do it, but uh, my strength definitely lies in characters. 
so doing something like this, um, you know, could be in, be in my favor. So hmm. now the question is like, what are these? So if <laughs> hey eternal lady, how's it going? And Mort de Cart, Mort de Cart, how's it going? So maybe this guy. I definitely want to make them cute. I definitely want to make them cheeky. Uh. Have you ever have you seen the movie Box Trolls? <laughs> Obviously, all my references are about kids' movies uh, because I have two two of them. But uh, this movie called Box Trolls, uh, I really found their their trolls uh, like cute and cheeky. So probably going towards this direction, like this guy. That's kind of like what my aim is, right, in style, in my head. This style I can easily do. I've done it thousands of times. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm confident that I could pull it off. It's all about getting that balance of uh, what they are uh, as characters you know, and design. Uh, Miller Finn, what I like the most... I mean, stuff that I really, really love is uh, like stylized stuff. Let's see. This is. I'll, I'll dig up the the style. Like that's very natural to me that I've done many times. Um, Like this style. It's very, very like second nature. Like stylized but rendered. That that's very easily done. And that's something I, I definitely enjoy doing. Um, but in terms of fantasy or sci fi Uh, it doesn't really matter. I like creating. I think in general, I, I just like creating. Stuff that I l don't enjoy fully doing is like realism. That for me is... Um, I have a hard time seeing the challenge in recreating reality without any uh, taste it. So I think I'm 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 doing this the wrong way at the moment. So I got to start now focusing a little bit more on, on who they are what they are uh, instead of what the light is. I think I really got to um, focus on the characters now. And and I think most of the characters should feel like their own entity. Oh, party. Party, party hard. Uh, 
or maybe they should all be the the same type of maybe they're trolls I like trolls maybe they're all just their own old version own version of troll from different parts of the world Oh, swimming pool and beer. Oh, just be careful. Beer and swimming doesn't necessarily go hand in hand. Chilstrand, uh, approximately how old are you? I want to ask you a question, depending on your age. Jacuzzi and and beach. All right, your your brother is rich, <laughs> so around thirty, right? So, I assume then uh, you um, in school uh, you had to uh, go to the swimming pool, right? The communal swimming pool, and and do the test for swimming in in sports in school. Am I right in in uh, in that assumption? Like you couldn't pass sport until you you were able to swim a certain distance. You did went extra, right? But in in PE in school, uh, sports. You never had swimming lessons, like in school, mandatory swimming, like uh, one to third, one to three grade, I think it was usually fourth, like you had swimming in school, but you di you you didn't have that in in when you were growing up then. That's that's crazy. Captain Jetlag, that's good. And how are you, how, how old are you, uh, Jetlag, approximately? If you don't want to be specific. In France too, eternal world. Children, true, true. But that doesn't mean anything in real, really. Twenty-eight. But then, oh, that's interesting, because when I grew up. In school, to to pass uh, sports, you had to uh, swim with clothes on in a swimming pool. So, like the final test was uh, fully dressed, you know, pants, uh, t-shirt, hoodie, and then uh, and then swim. You had to run 60 meters. Was that your final exam in sports? That's a, that's a good challenge. Yeah, Captain Jetlag, we we had to do that in Sweden as well when I was growing up. Like uh, you had to pass these three levels of swimming. Yeah, exactly, Captain Jetlag. More Descartes. Oh yeah, you had to push the time. That I remember that as well. But there's not a lot of people nowadays that had to do that. Like the level of um, the level of of uh, uh, swimming ability. Like I remember that they were like, uh, uh, what's it called? Birth of through fire or whatever it's called. You know, like a, a challenge. It was really really hard to do it. 
Ixi, yeah, there we go. Christanos, that's cool. That's a really good... Uh, I think that's a really good thing to, to know. Maybe this could be the girl. Belly cram? What is a belly cramp? Oh, cramp. Okay. <laughs> it's a cramp. Cram. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Belly cramp. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like uh, learning to swim. You're not afraid of going swimming. So obviously, I have done a lots of casual, uh, casual swimming. The reason why I asked about age uh, is that I've noticed a lot of younger people, at least around here, they don't have that same. Um, there's a gap there where they stopped doing it in school. And um, I'm 38 this year, um, and uh, when I grew up, we had to do those kind of things in Sweden, at least. Oh, Japomo, you're back! Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime, man. Second month in a row. Much appreciated. Oh man, I will buy you a beer one day when we meet, if you're into beers. Believe that. Awesome. Much appreciated, Japan. Thanks. Yo, yo, yo. What up? The, yeah, it's it's crazy how how certain like ages they don't. They don't. Um, they don't get the same stuff. Like I, w as you would assume, is uh, like life essential knowledge. Crystallers. Oh, uh, I will. I will most definitely. I will set it up. Um, I will do that. And also like subscription animation and stuff. I have a plan. A little bit of a plan, but yeah, it's coming. Much appreciated for the uh, suggestion, Chris. Run naked, yeah. There is this really hilarious uh, clip of a guy running naked uh, towards a. Uh, I'll I'll try to find it. This one. I don't know how many times I've seen this, and how many times I laughed my ass off. This is, of course, I'm building it up now, so no, now, no, now, no one is gonna laugh. But I'm, I promise you, I'm gonna like. He's drunk for sure. Go streaky, brother! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> the shame that he has to run back <laughs> with a broken nose, most likely. <laughs> Go streaky, brother! Come on! <laughs> that is so good! <laughs> oh shit! So funny! Well, Woohoo! Fuck! <laughs> all time, oh, one of my all time favorites. It's so. so good. <laughs> so many regrets in one clip. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the shame. 
I think I think the shame is what I find the most amusing, if anything. Like how he has to run the way back with like hand on his 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 crotch and like you could if he would have a, had a tail it would have been like you know like a dog that's a shame. It's so funny, man! It's so, such a funny clip. <laughs> so good. Uh, Tanium, yeah, absolutely. Babies, um, there is a response in babies when they're born. Um, the human can uh, give birth uh, to babies underwater. And the baby comes out um, holding his breath. That's why there is this... Uh, you wait until the baby starts crying when they're born. You know, like slap. Um, it's because they innately have a... Um, they're, they hold their breath. And uh, one cool thing with babies, like if you blow on their their face, like um, they hold their breath. So when, like, I took my son when he, when he was a baby, I took him to baby swimming, and uh, you lift them up and pull them down, and then they 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 lock their their nose and mouth, and you you put them underwater, and and they can float underwater and stuff. They're happy. They can hold their breath like instinctively. They can't like crawl like a barracuda, <laughs> but uh, they can float and they can like uh, paddle. It's pretty cool. Yeah, but uh, like I said, uh, that's something you gotta also uh, cultivate uh, with your baby. You just don't don't slam your baby underwater and think it'll be fine. You have to prep the baby for it. <laughs> Please, don't uh, don't don't dunk your baby the first thing you do. Yeah, I mean there is a there is a huge. Uh, uh, if you don't know, there is a huge um, theory called the aquatic ape theory. If you don't know about it. Uh, I would suggest you read up about it. There is a there is a certain people talking about it, like uh, interesting theories and discussing it. So there's definitely information out there if you're interested in uh, diving into that. But more or less, the aquatic ape theory is that there's there there's this theory that we are um, water living uh, monkeys, uh, like uh, originally. Because, um, like, s a lot of monkeys, they can't swim. Like, a chimpanzee uh, would would sink uh, to its death if it would go into water. They they can't swim. Because they, are de they have so much more density in their bones. And they're denser in muscle, they just sink like a rock. <laughs> yeah. Be careful with your babies. I'm <laughs> slowly becoming fish. Uh, yeah. Tanium, yeah, exactly. I mean, if you're all, always involving your kids in water, uh, the swimming will come natural. You won't uh, need to uh, teach them swimming. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna try to do a uh, Arnold impersonation. Chocolatine? Oh man. So envious. Here's a crazy idea. We should all meet. 
We should all have a 30 minute warm up meeting. Like, a uh, weekend. Just all meet somewhere in the middle of everyone and just uh, do 30 minute warm ups for a weekend. <laughs> no, but hang out. I would say that would be cool. Tanium, yeah, I mean, the the idea that you have to be young all the time is uh, is ridiculous. I I love getting older. I love seeing my face getting wrinkly and shit like that. I think I've always appreciated that, and I I I can't wait for uh, for it for me to be old and gray and wrinkly and. I'm excited. A weekend of love, yeah. The, for those who don't know, weekend of love is um, this guy, firestarter organizer. He used to do like a weekend of love. He called it where you rent like a house somewhere and you just all hang out as artists, and, you know, talk shit and go for walks and eat food and draw and do art and just you know like be very relaxed, like a, re a mini vacation. Crocoa is uh, life drawing. Crocoa. Merici, if I see myself retiring, no, yeah, I'm gonna retire at some point when I'm old. And my master plan is to set up passive income. Towards my uh, silver age. <laughs> oh shit! Time's up. Thanks everyone for coming. So I think uh, I think this is a cool idea. I think the characters needs a lot more polish. Uh, I think this would be the a better decision, uh, topic wise. Um, so I think Kroki, yeah, um, I really need to push the characters in this instance, uh, I think, I think, I think it'll be good, um, so let's see, uh, of course no one is creative, let's go to creative and look. Some Polish lady making food. That's ridiculous. Boobs. Food. Boobs. 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 Me. Boobs. Dog doodle noodles. Leather dog collar. Yeah. That looks pretty cool. Let's raid that person. Raid French English. Cray Oni. Thanks everyone for joining in. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll try to str stream this weekend actually. Uh, I need to work on the golden ticket stuff. Uh, anyways, have a good one. Thanks everyone for coming. Thanks for the um, Twitch Prime, Japomo. Much appreciated. Bye.